Hi there, it's Simon here. Hope you're going well. I just wanted to have a quick chat with you about some things that I bought for my guitar rig this year that I would 100% endorse. By the way, I bought them with my own money. See you in a second. <laughs> So number one on my list is this fantastic little pedal, the MXR Sugar Drive. This thing is awesome. Um, go check out my video. I did a long video review of it, like 15 minutes of guitar playing with a bunch of different guitars, Strat, Tele, Gibbo, and a hollow body guitar um, showing you what it can do. It's amazing little overdrive pedal. I really, really, really have enjoyed playing it. I've had it for six, seven months now. Um, it's been absolutely terrific. So that is number one. So number two is also an overdrive pedal, as I appreciate not everybody can go and spend $150 plus on an overdrive pedal. I've used these K-Line Orange Burst pedals for a little while now, and I think it cost about $40 delivered from Amazon. It is a great pedal. The noise floor is somewhat higher compared to the MXR Sugar Drive, but is this four times better than this? Absolutely not. This is a terrific pedal. I've got two of these, and one of them lives permanently in my what happens if one of my overdrives dies during a gig bag, and I've used it a lot of times. It was permanently on my board, um, but then I just changed things around as you generally do. The third thing is something that has genuinely transformed my guitar playing life. It is the Boss WL20. Now, these are little dongles. I think the whole system cost about 200 bucks. Um, it's got loads of great things about it. The range is good. I've used it at countless gigs and I've never had any problems whatsoever. Um, I know there's a lot of people going, oh, well, is it like a cable? Is it exactly the same as cable? Well, no, it's not exactly the same as a cable. Uh, it's wireless, so maybe better. Now, I uh, don't have good enough ears to be able to discern between a cable and this wireless uh, system, which basically means if you can't tell the difference after playing guitar for 30 years plus, there probably isn't much of one. And look, I'm sure if we ran it through a spectrometer or some equally high-tech audio thing, you could probably discern a difference between this and a cable. But frankly, you know, the advantages of this so outweigh the cable. Number one, obviously, it's wireless. It's super easy to install. You literally just plug in one end and hey presto, it works immediately. Something which I think they've absolutely nailed is it has one of these little buttons that only engages when that is in. So that means you can noiselessly change guitars and there's none of this <coughs> kind of sound that you get when you unplug a pedal without one of those. I think they're Nutric, is it? Anyway, I don't really know. Something else which I was concerned about when I first bought it, I was like, how long is the battery gonna last? Now, so I generally teach between five and eight hours in a day and I will just charge it overnight and every single day it's absolutely fine. In fact, sometimes I forget to charge it and it runs for two days of lessons, which is over nine, 10 hours. It's been absolutely amazing and uh, has genuinely changed my life. I don't run over the cables anymore on my rolly chair here, you know, and um, it's just been great. Oh, the other thing is that it just takes a regular mini USB to charge it. So you don't need any kind of special adapter that you will then forget somewhere at a gig or whatever. And you can also even run it plugged in. So uh, on the two occasions where I've been daft and not charged it overnight, I've actually just still plugged this in the pedal board and then uh, used a USB cable from the power board that's powering the pedals as well and powered that, works fine. I don't know if you're meant to do that uh, or not, but you can. The one thing I would say against this is it does work on a Wi-Fi system. So if you are directly next to your Wi-Fi router, as in like as close as I am to the camera, it will interrupt the Wi-Fi. So I've discovered this a little bit in lessons this year when I've been doing Zoom lessons instead of in-person lessons 
that I have a Wi-Fi extender plugged in here, which has got an ethernet cable that goes directly to my PC. And I found it has interrupted the Wi-Fi sometimes. I'm pretty sure it's this anyway. So there's that to think about. But in every other way, it's been awesome. I would highly recommend it. And finally, it was a pretty big year for me this year. I uh, finally succumbed and I bought a Telecaster. I mean, I love the Telecaster. But I finally succumbed and I bought a Telecaster with a humbucker in the neck position. So this is a wide range humbucker. And uh, it's been really good. I've had this guitar for now maybe six months. I bought it second hand from Echo Tone in Melbourne. It is some kind of random Japanese signature model. I don't really know who the signatory is. It's some Japanese pop star, I think. Um, but you can see here... Telecaster, it's black. It's got one of these perloid scratch guards, which I, I don't really love. It had a few dings in it when I bought it. So I got it for just over a thousand dollars, which was uh, pretty good and a beautiful rosewood neck. But the humbucker in the neck is really a, quite a transformative experience. Uh, having a humbucker in the neck of a Telecaster means that you can get a lot of sounds. I love the neck um, pickup in a regular Telecaster. I'm a big, big fan. But now I get to take this and a Telecaster to the gig and you can get a few different sounds, a bit heavier sort of sounds out of this thing as well. So uh, that is the final thing. Thanks very much for watching. Those are four things that I really would heartily recommend. I've owned them for all at least six months. So they've had really, really good road testing. Um, but seriously, this thing is absolutely fantastic. I've, uh, I've absolutely loved having this. It's been a life changing experience bit like when they invented the clip-on tuner. That was a good experience as well, right? So go and check one of these out. As I say, I bought it with my own money. I'm not endorsed or affiliated in any way with Boss. It's just a great thing. Please do subscribe and click the like button on this video. And if you are able to spend $3 a month to support the channel at my Patreon page, which is www.patreon.com forward slash Simon Morell. I will see you next time. I really do appreciate your watching. I'll see you later. Bye. Bye-bye.